day 28 raw food challenge and um, I was not really like 100% raw like past I think three days yeah because I ate the bold sweet potatoes for dinner and um, boiled and steamed so some of them were boiled some of them were steamed and then yesterday I had <clears throat> So I wanted to pretty much experiment with seeing the difference between like eating high fat raw for dinner versus eating like a high carb, uh, low fat cooked. Um, so what I noticed is I had uh, yesterday for dinner I had like a coconut yogurt. So what I did I bought like a pretty thick coconuts, they're pretty thick coconuts, uh, not a thin meat and um, I blended it with some water and then I left it like like pretty much almost 12 hours uh, covered outside like not in the fridge, just outside on the table um, and then it became like a uh, um, little bit sour so I was eating that yesterday and this morning I just like I just like couldn't uh, it was hard to wake up uh, I couldn't it was hard to wake up and plus I couldn't even sleep till uh, like the morning was like I was like half asleep half not but it was hard to get out of bed and now I'm still like even when eating um, melon I, I'm having like a like a melon belly so if you're doing like a high fed raw, like that car, like I'm, I think he's experiencing some issues, but he's just like burning himself as a raw for his business, money, money. Uh, but definitely like a high, high carb, low fat cooked without salt and oil is much better than a fucking high fed raw like this uh, avocado salads and and the coconut yogurts and eating like six coconuts for dinner like if you eat like a meal of bananas and then you have like a salad and, and a little bit of like let's say like three there are slimy coconuts it's not gonna affect you so much but if you have like a two full-on fat coconut uh, yogurt oh man I just feel like Oh, that's my experience at least. Like, it's it's worse to eat a high fat roll. And the same was after I went to the restaurant. I didn't experience the full on like the day. Like, the, there was really like lots of fat in that those two coconuts. But when I ate that the, like the burrito with the guacamole and the sour cream and the the cheesecake at that raw restaurant. The next day I felt pretty much like eating some like heavy curry for uh, cooked food, you know. So I don't notice that much difference there, really. Uh, when, when it comes to eating like a high fat cooked raw or high fat raw, I don't even know what I'm saying. High fat, <laughs> high fat cooked meal or a high fat raw meal, I don't notice that much difference there. So the conclusion, and I was watching like uh, Mick, Mick the Vegan, he was like debunking the, debunking the, uh, the raw diet or not debunking, just sharing his, uh, his uh, comments. Um, so pretty much he said that raw is a brand name and he said pros and cons like it's more expensive. Like, of course, if you eat, like, fruit, it's much more expensive than rice. He said, like, if you eat, like, um, apples and stuff like that, it's more toxins in there, like, in forms of pesticides. Um, what else did he say? It's uh, much easier to under-eat when you're starting. Um, and, um... Yeah, but pretty much he concluded that it's a brand name like 
like this that the arguments they're providing like uh, that you get autoimmune disease like uh, your white blood cells start attacking you I don't know what what exactly is the science behind it but you know when you were saying that uh, steamed broccoli is the same as eating um, like french fries you're full of shit uh, it's a brand name it's a it's a good business though like people want to try it people are attracted to it you know because people don't want just like like here people want like uh like perfect or nothing people would rather people would rather eat like people are going for like a juice like a water fast and then eating like a mcdonald burgers after so it's like two extremes they, they don't want like nothing like middle sustainable <clears throat> Um, but yeah, and he said like, when you're eating like a, like a whole foods, uh, cooked vegan, like, when you're eating a higher, when you're eating raw vegan, your backup plants are whole foods vegan, right? Like, in, like it will be in my case now, but when you're ready, you're whole food vegan, what is your backup plan? It's just like a junk food there. So... That's why when you are like raw, you always like eating your fruits, and then if you can't get fruits, you're eating your whole whole foods, you know. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. Is a raw just a business, or is it better than whole foods vegan? See you later.